Well, the ministry was responding to a report which found that one in 10 Singapore households experienced food insecurity at least once in the past year. And that means that they did not have or were not confident of having enough nutritious food. The study, released by Food Bank Singapore and Singapore Management University, surveyed some 1,200 households. The report found that over 60% of these vulnerable families lived in one- and two-room HDB flats, compared to around 25% of those who did not lack food. The heads of such households were more likely to have less education. 35% of them did not attain secondary school certificates, compared to 27% for food-secure households. More than 20% of them were receiving food support. And some of them said they were embarrassed to seek help or were unaware of support available. And others believed that they were less in need of help than other people. Food insecurity was also associated with physical and mental health conditions. Nearly half of the food insecure respondents reported feeling unwell or lethargic during, due to a lack of food. And the survey also found that the haves and have-nots were unlikely to mix. Only one in five food-secure households had connections with those that were food insecure. And to help improve the overall situation, researchers proposed to map the locations of vulnerable neighbourhoods to better support those at risk of being hungry. And there's also a need for help to be more tightly coordinated. They also recommended more information and education on food insecurity so that people would empathise and be more aware. And there were calls for healthy eating campaigns to be amplified, as well as a closer look into whether healthier food was more expensive, as that was one of the main reasons why people avoided them.